All right, that didn't work right. What's up everybody, Jason Page here. And today I'm making a video to answer a common question that I'm getting about the light painting brushes. And that is, what is the difference between the translucent and opaque light writers? The main difference between these two is simply the texture of light that it creates. So the opaque light writer is gonna create a very soft light texture, whereas the translucent light writer creates a much sharper light texture. So what I'm gonna do with these things today is just simply uh, write out the word light and also just kind of do a few little abstract images, just kind of showing the difference in the texture of each of these. First one is gonna be light writing. What I'm doing here is just using the uh, pink opaque light writer attached to the universal connector as always and the coast g26 flashlight so this is how i hold the light when i'm creating a light drawing or light writing using this particular flashlight with the on off button on the back and the uh, light writers so i'm going to write out the word light with the pink opaque light writer first then i'm going to write out the word light using the pink translucent light writer and you'll be able to see the difference in texture i'm using the same light the universal connector and the settings of the camera will be the exact same on all of these images. If you're new to light painting or if you don't really understand or you just want more information about the actual technique of creating the images that I'm about to show you, I will link some tutorials in the description down below. Um, specifically, there's a light writing tutorial, there is a uh, light man tutorial and things like that that can help you further understand the light painting art form. So. Let's just get into it. Let's get into a couple images so you can actually see the difference and visualize what I'm talking about rather than trying to figure it out um, just by me running my mouth. All right, so this is the first image. This is done with the pink opaque light writer. The settings that I use were ISO 100 and F22. It's about a 21 second exposure, um, just giving me enough time to write out the word light. As you can see, there's a very soft light texture. Now, what I'm gonna show you the difference here is the next image is the pink translucent light writer, exact same light and the exact same settings, ISO 100 and F22. Now, as you can see with this image, there's a sharper light texture. You're also able to get lens flares when you're using the translucent light writers. The opaque light writers don't offer the same type of lens flares. There's more light that passes through the translucent light writer, so you're able to shine the light directly at the camera and get those lens flares like you see there on the top of the eye. And there's also more light spilling out. As you can see, there's more light on the bottom of the table reflected back up. And here's just a few uh, random squiggly lines that I made using the opaque light writer. As you can see, it's a very smooth and clean texture of light, which I really like for kind of creating these lines and things like that. And here is the translucent light writer doing kind of the same kind of scribbly uh, just line work just so you can see the difference in texture. Now this one here is the orange opaque light writer. Uh, settings for this image were ISO 100 at F20. And here is the orange translucent light writer version of the word light written out. Exact same settings. As you can see, it is a much different texture and even a different color of light. And that is because there's so much more light actually bleeding through that translucent light writer as opposed to the opaque, which keeps all the light inside the light writer. The translucent allows it to spill out. So you're gonna get more texture and you're gonna get uh, kind of different shades of color within your image. And here we are again, just doing some squiggly lines. This one is with the orange opaque light writer. And this one is with the orange translucent light writer. In this image here, I use the blue opaque light writer. The settings were ISO 100 F14. It is an 83 second exposure. All I did here was use the blue opaque light writer to trace over my body. And if you'd like to learn more about this particular technique, there is a full tutorial on how to create a light man linked in the description below. In this next image here, I did the exact same technique with the same settings, ISO 100, F14, but using the blue translucent light writer. And as you can see, the texture of light is quite different. In the first image, it's a very soft light texture. And in this one, the lines are much sharper. So in this final image here, I use the green opaque light writer to write out the word light. 
and the orange translucent light writer just to kind of give some texture around the word light so you can see the difference in those two. I also use the orange translucent light writer to create the lens flares by shining the light directly at the camera and just turning the light on for a split second there. Settings on this image were ISO 100, F20, this one took a little bit longer, it's about an 80 second exposure and that is it. So that is the difference between the opaque and translucent light writers. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button if you want to learn more about light painting. And if you have any questions or comments, put them down in the comment section below and I will try to answer anything that I can. Um, until the next video, get out there and get creative.